Hi beautiful, you're here for a stretching routine because you understand the value of both strength and flexibility. In fact, you're only as strong as you are flexible. Do what you need to do to set up and I'll meet you on the mat. To see more content like this and to support the channel, remember to like, share, and subscribe and click on that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. Special shout out to my Vital 7 stars, Beth B, Reeves S, Alex S, and Julie G. Thank you for making this video possible. Laying down on your back, making sure that your feet are in line with your hips. The standing leg is going to be very active, so I'm going to use the right leg as the standing leg. I'm pushing my right heel into the mat and my right knee is soft. So I feel my hamstrings, the back of my leg engaged. Hands are down by your side. You're going to pull in the neck, uh, the neft. <laughs> You're gonna pull in the left knee in towards your chest feeling where the femur bone really sinks into the socket as you keep the right standing leg very active. Then you're going to extend your left leg all the way up, flexing the foot, getting the nice calf and hamstring stretch. Then you're gonna lower and lift the left leg, bring the knee back into the chest, and then come back to home base and repeat on the same side. So here we go. Make sure that you're breathing. Not holding any tension in your jaw. Feeling the stretch of the hamstring and calf. Working at a speed that you can control the movement and work with precision. Really feeling that right standing leg active. Keeping the shoulders and neck relaxed. Keeping your pelvis stable. Let's do two more. Last one. And then switching sides. Again, making sure that your feet are lined up with your hip bones, grounding through the left standing leg as you move the right. Here we go. Using your breath. Keeping your jaw soft. Try to keep your neck and shoulders relaxed. Feel the active left standing leg. Really work that hip mobility as well. Make sure you're not locking out your left knee. Checking the tension in your shoulders and neck. Do two more. Last one. Excellent. Going into one of my personal favorites, Banana Asana. We're gonna move our legs over to the left as far as we can, keeping our pelvis level. And then side bending to the left as far as we can, keeping the back of the ribs on the mat placing our hands around our elbows and bringing our arms overhead. And then from here, breathing into the back and side of your ribs.
feeling that stretch from the right shoulder down the spine into the top of the right hip. One more breath. From there, passing through center, bringing your legs over to your right as far as you can, keeping your pelvis, pebble, <laughs> your pelvis level, and then side bending over to the right as much as you can, keeping the back of your ribs on the mat, Placing your hands around your elbows, bringing your arms overhead, breathing into the back and side of your ribs. Feeling that stretch from the left shoulder down the spine and into the front of the left hip. One more breath. Then passing through center and stretching your tighter side one more time, whichever side that was for you. Move your legs over as far as you can, keeping your pelvis level, side bending as much as you can, placing your hands around your elbows, bringing your arms overhead. Breathing into the back and side of your ribs, feeling the back of your ribs anchored on the mat. After your last exhale, Coming to center, staying in corpse pose for a breath, just to center out the body again. Nicely done, I love that stretch. Laying down on your left side, you can use a pillow or lay down on your arm, whatever feels more comfortable for you. Make sure that your head is in line with your shoulders and your pelvis, that your hips are stacked and your knees are stacked. You can use your free hand for support. You can leave the bottom leg bent. You're going to extend the front leg or the top leg, I should say, out, making sure that your foot is just slightly in front of your pelvis. You're going to bring the leg up so that it's in line with the pelvis, flexing the foot. You're going to bring the leg front, feeling the stretch of the hamstring and the calf. And then you're gonna bring the leg up, feeling the stretch of the inner thighs, and then circle that leg around, bringing it back behind you, opening up the front of your hip, really feeling your glute max turn on. Lots of work for the deep abs, creating as much space between your waist and the mat as possible. And then passing through home base and repeating that in this direction. Using your breath, Inhaling and exhaling. Trying to keep your pelvis as still as possible. Lots of work for the abs and the legs. Make sure you're feeling the stretch. Try not to hold tension in your neck and shoulders. Really using the breath. Let's do two more this way. 
feel navel to spine on the exhale. And then go ahead and rest it down. Ooh, I felt that, did you? And then we're going to reverse it. So we're gonna bring the same leg up in line with the pelvis. And then we're gonna bring it back behind us first. Lots of deep ab work here. Exhale, circle the leg around. Bringing it front, feeling the stretch, passing through home base. Notice how I'm using my breath. Use your abs. Feel the stretch. Halfway there. I'm feeling it. Feeling my outer thigh and my glutes. Two more, you got this. Last one. Ooh, all right, nicely done. Let's do the other side. Laying on your right side, making sure your head is in line with your shoulders and your pelvis. Hips are stacked, knees are stacked. Make sure you're not lying directly on your right shoulder. Bringing up your left arm on the inhale. Exhale into the rotation stretch, looking in the direction of your rotation. Making sure your knees don't slide, your pelvis stays still. Rotating as far as you can. Engaging your abs, inhale, come back to home base. Letting the breath out. Inhale, bringing the left arm up. Exhale, rotate. Trying to rotate a little bit further each time. Inhale, engage the abs, come back to home base. And repeating that. making sure you're not feeling any stress in your left armpit. If you are, you may be winging the arm and you need to lift it up a little bit. Inhale, back to home base. Let's do it a couple more times. Remember, trying to increase the rotation with each stretch. Inhale, abs engaged, coming back home. One more time. Hopefully you feel like you have more range of motion than when you started. Make sure your knees don't slide. Inhale, engaging the abs, coming back to home base. Excellent, all right, let's switch sides. Making sure your head is in line with your shoulders and your pelvis, hips are stacked, knees are stacked. Inhale, bring your right arm up, and then exhale into the rotation. Make sure your knees don't slide. Inhale, engage the abs coming back to home base. And repeat. Moving with your breath. Trying to increase your stretch. Don't let your knees slide. Inhale, back to home base. And again. Your spine may adjust and that's fine. Inhale, back to home base. Let's do it a couple more times. Trying to rotate a little bit further. Engage the abs on the way back. One more. Abs engage, coming home. 
Ah, oh, nicely done. All right, let's move on. Sitting cross-legged with your left foot in front. You can sit up on a pillow if that helps you be more comfortable, that's fine. You're gonna rotate your body towards your left leg and then on your exhale, you're gonna roll down through the spine over the left knee as you keep your sit bones anchored down on the mat. Feeling that stretch down the right side of the spine into the low back. Let your neck fully release. Make sure your jaw is soft and you're not holding any tension in your shoulders. Taking a breath here, savoring the stretch, gently deepening the stretch with your breath. Stay anchored in your sit bones. On your next exhale, rolling back up through the spine, stacking yourself right up on the spine and bringing your body back to center. Head is the last to arrive. Facing center, exhaling, rolling down through the spine. Keeping your jaw relaxed, keep breathing. Feeling the stretch in the left hip. You may feel a stretch in the back of your neck or your upper back as well, that's fine. Keep your jaw soft. Gently deepen the stretch. On your next breath, coming back up, stacking yourself right back up on your sit bones reaching through the crown of your head, long spine, ah, and then rotating to the right leg and rolling down through the spine, over the right leg. Feeling the stretch in the left lower back. Keeping the neck and shoulders relaxed, jaw is soft, trying to deepen the stretch with each breath. After your last breath, coming back up to sitting, stacking yourself right up on your sit bones, Head is the last to arrive, feeling long in the spine, reaching through the crown of the head. And then you're gonna switch feet. So you're gonna put your right foot in front and we're gonna start over the right leg and exhale, rolling down. Staying anchored in your sit bones. You may feel the stretch in the back of the neck and upper back as well, that's fine. Trying to deepen the stretch. After your last breath, stacking your spine, anchoring down in your sit bones. Long spine, head is the last to arrive, reaching through the crown of your head, coming center with your body, exhaling, rolling down, straight down the middle. Feeling the stretch in your right hip. Let your neck fully release. After your last breath, stacking your spine, anchoring down in your sit bones, long spine, reaching through the crown of your head, feeling really light and lifted in the upper body. Rotating to the left leg, rolling down.
feeling the stretch in the right lower back. Stay anchored in your sit bones. You may feel the stretch in the front of your right hip too. Try to keep your jaw soft, shoulders and neck relaxed. Breathing into the stretch. After your last exhale, stacking yourself up on your sit bones, stacking your spine, coming center with the body. Head is the last to arrive, reaching through the crown of the head, just feeling really light and lifted and effortless in the upper body. It's really nice, savor that feeling. Nicely done. Coming into a quadruped position, toes are curled under, feet are in line with the back of your hips, pelvis over the knees, long spine, head in line with the spine, hands slightly in front of the shoulders and soft elbows. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards each other, feeling your inner thigh booty deep ab fascial connection kick in. From here, we're gonna go into shoulder circles, circling the direction of the shoulders clockwise to begin, trying to just feel the movement of the shoulder blades, trying not to undulate in your spine, right? So you wanna keep your pelvis still, the spine long, and see if you can feel all the different directions that the shoulder blades are moving. Of course, continuing to breathe, keep the jaw soft, Inner thigh booty, deep ab connection on. You're gonna feel your arms working a little bit here. That's good. Really trying to just move the shoulder blades. The movement may be smaller than you think. Be careful of locking out the elbows. Let's do a couple more this direction. Finding your quadruped home base position, making sure you still have weight in the big toes, that your pelvis is over your knees, long spine, right? Elbows soft. Going counterclockwise now. It may feel a little bit more awkward. <laughs> it does for me anyway. I definitely want to work a little bit slower this direction so I know that I don't start, you know, undulating and moving in the spine. So make sure that you are moving at a pace that you can feel in control and aware of the movement. Make sure you don't let go of the abs. I just realized I had let my abs go. <laughs> So make sure you're using your exhale, navel to spine. I don't know about for you, but this direction is much more awkward for me. I really have to pay attention. I notice that I want to start going clockwise again. <laughs> I'm feeling my arms. Let's do a few more. Two more. Last one. Whew. And then let's take it into an extended child's pose to stretch out. Reaching your arms long out in front of you, breathing into the back and side of your ribs. I know that exercise can be awkward, but it's such a good one for shoulder mobility, getting your shoulder blades moving. It's so important to have that mobility there. So even if it feels awkward, I love that you tried it and I hope that you're open to doing it again. Staying in the quadruped position, we're gonna go into cat-cow. Make sure you're feeling the inner thigh booty, deep ab connection on. Exhaling into the cat, 
drawing navel to spine, ribs up to the ceiling, keeping your pelvis over your knees. Let your neck fully release, jaw soft. Inhaling, passing through home base, going into cow, inner thigh booty, deep ab connection on, protect your lower back. Try to look all the way up to the ceiling and open and close your mouth feeling the stretch in the front of your neck. Exhaling back into the cat. Lots of deep ab work here, inner thigh booty, deep ab connection on. Inhaling into the cow. Holding the cow, stretching the front of your neck. Keep the inner thigh booty, deep ab connection on. Exhaling back into the cat. Feeling the movement of the shoulder blades. Pelvis stays over the knees. Neck fully releases, inhaling into the cow. Feeling the movement of the shoulder blades. Try to look all the way up to the ceiling. Stretch the neck. Exhaling back into the cat. And then inhaling into your cow. Stretching the neck. One more time, exhale cat. Inhale cow. Keeping your elbows soft. Inner thigh booty, deep ab connection on. Stretching the neck. Nice, coming back, finding your quadruped position. And then from here, again, going into an extended child's pose. Reaching your arms long out in front of you as you breathe into the back and side of your ribs. And that's it, you did it, you're done, yay. Excellent work. How are you feeling after doing that routine? Oh my goodness, I feel really light. And I feel open. I don't feel any strain or stress in my spine. I feel lots of space in between my vertebra. It feels so good. Remember, you don't wanna feel any numbing, burning, tingling sensations, and obviously you don't wanna feel any acute pain. If you do, you wanna stop and rest. These exercises should help you feel like you're getting more flexible, more mobile. Pay attention to how your body's responding to each movement. It's possible that some of them may not be right for you, and that's fine. Modify as needed. Do the exercises that feel good for you and do the quantity that feels right for you. If you notice one side feels weaker than the other, do more reps for your weaker side. If you notice one side feels tighter than the other, stretch longer for your tighter side. Thanks for watching and I hope you got something good out of this video. Ready for the next one? Check it out. Want more access to Vital 7? Ad free content, exclusive content, early access to content? Find out why Vital 7's on Patreon. I look forward to being with you in the next video. Bye for now.